y'all. Big Sky Diamond Painting back here with um, a yet another unboxing. Uh, once more, this is... Uh, this one I actually received fairly recently. Um, it's from the most recent drop of Dreamer Designs new releases. So, um, for once I'm actually getting something kind of new out for you guys. Uh, I mean, I say for once as if I haven't been gone <laughs> for like eight months. Um, I guess closer to nine, but uh, let's just get right into this. I'm going to get the wrapping off and then we'll we'll cover what it actually is. Um, hope everybody's doing well, has had a good long weekend. Uh, I know I, when I'm filming this, haven't finished my long weekend yet, but um, I can tell you that I for sure need the break and um, I'm planning on using it wisely. So um, this is Over the Rainbow by Dreamer Designs. If you don't already know, Dreamer Designs only does squares. And unless something significant has changed, which it, maybe it has in the time I've been gone, um, their drills are incredible and I highly recommend. Um, their charting, um, they, they give you a mock-up. Their charting has improved significantly since their inception. So, you know, I say give them a chance, but look at the charts before you buy stuff because you might not like how they chart. Anyway, this is a 30 by 30 centimeter, um, which is one of the smallest paintings that they offer. Um, but you know me, I'm a sucker for, for rainbows and I'm a sucker for rainbow roses. Um, it's hard not to buy every single one that I see. <laughs> Um, okay, so let's get into this. No, we're going to have no, um, no chit chat, no extra, whatever. Okay. Oh, also the other thing before we get too far, um, their boxes come with a handle, which is nice if you want to, if you want to like keep the box and use it as a carrying case, you can you know, use it. So they're, they're good and portable. They, um, Dreamer Designs really, really focuses on like a community, the community and like relaxation aspect of diamond painting. Um, and they kind of just want you to like really enjoy the crafting, um, thing. So they kind of add like a lot of little perks for you to make it more of like a premium experience. Um, Personally, I don't necessarily need them, but they are a nice touch, and they also make these really great to gift to people um, if they're, like, newer to diamond painting and things, um, because, you know, they are. Okay, so it comes in this um, reusable bag. It's basically made from that, like, that, like, paper fabric that's, like, here, let's get up here, kind of the same stuff that they use for the uncoated reusable grocery bags um it's it's a very nice bag for this to come in i again believe it's overkill um but they you know they it's reusable it's eco-friendly which is great but i am not going to use it for anything except for holding this diamond painting until i'm finished with it and possibly afterwards if i if i'm not going to frame it up so here is how the kits come you get your kit rolled around a foam roller. Definitely do not need the foam roller, but I appreciate that they, you know, that they go the extra mile. They tie it with a pretty ribbon. Again, a little extra, but I do, I ain't mad at it. Just, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't need it. Um, and then you get your kit in this really nice, like, velvety sort of cloth bag. Um, it's not like, you know, high pile velvet or anything, but it's kind of like peach skin material. Um, and they're good. <laughs> guys, when I'm ta telling you that Dreamer Designs... Oops, sorry, didn't mean to kick you. Guys, when I'm telling you that Dreamer Designs is extra with their kits, they are extra. So let's just dump this out. Um, again, this is reusable. Oh, it's kind of stretchy. 
I'll go in one way. I don't know what I would reuse it for. They, you know, like sometimes they're like, oh, you can just use it to give a gift or whatever. Um, it says Dreamer Designs on it. So like, I don't know what I would gift with a logo on it, but it is a really nice bag. So if you have like stuff you need to store in a, in a nondescript, like it doesn't need to look nice, you know, drawstring bag. It's really nice, and I love that they use, like, the satin rat tail cord. Their branding's on point. We'll just put it like that. So, you get two trays. Again, they want you to diamond paint with other people, so you can diamond paint with a friend. They have the logo on the back. Turn it this way. Their logo's really pretty. So, you get your two trays. You get two pens. And apparently now they're including this kind of tip on one of the pens, which is the, um, rather than the, the brass single placer, it's just like the, the solid plastic single placer. Um, they're all, they're all interchangeable. You can, you can take them out. So if you don't like that kind of pen, it's not a big deal. But again, they want you... They want you painting with friends. Paint with friends. You get a a grippy for each pen. Um, and these these are like those those clear sparkly pens that are like clear but with a little glitter in them. I kind of like those. Um, you know that's if I mean if you even use the default pens anymore, which I frankly do not. You know you just that's just me. All right. You get a crap ton of baggies. They always give you at least enough baggies to kit up your your um, your diamonds. So however many colors is in a kit, you're gonna have at least that many baggies. Usually there's a few extra. Um, and they're they're decent quality baggies. They're not like you know super special or anything, but they're not like super crap either. Um, and then your extra tips. So you get a three placer, pretty standard. You get a Six placer, I want to say. Yeah, it looks like about double the size. You get a six placer and you get a straightener. Ooh, I love the straightener. That's that's my favorite addition that they put in there, I think, is that straightener. Um, that's with the 2.0 kits. They've they've since added that. Um, you get two pots of wax. I like that they give you a container. I don't necessarily like that... Um, like, their wax needs to be left out of the container for a day or so, honestly, to, to get it to be, like, a good, a good consistency. I find that it's a little bit wet otherwise, so I like to peel off one side and then open the container and just kind of leave it, leave it like this so that air can get it to it. Um, and just leave it for a day or so. But like, honestly, I have so many DAC waxes now that I just don't use any other kind of wax. But um, that's really my only complaint about their kit is that their wax could be better. Um, it's not bad. I mean, it's definitely 100% usable. Do not, do not even worry about it. Um, they give you really nice tweezers. They're the pointy kind. See these really, really sharp pointy kind. So be really careful because you will stab yourself inadvertently if you don't leave the covers on there. Um, they are super sharp. Super, super sharp, guys, if you don't already know that. So um, they, they do the strings of drills just like Diamond Art Club does. They put the name of the painting on the package so you can see what they are. And they have their little purple stripe. All right, so um, when, they, when they came out with this, they were like really big of like, hey, you can reuse all of this. You can reuse this ribbon. You can blah, blah, blah. So I've had to kind of like become okay with the fact that I am not going to reuse this stuff and that's okay. Like I, 
just need to be okay with not cluttering up my life anymore. <laughs> All right, so, but it's it looks pretty. Again, if you want to get somebody a gift of a diamond painting, Dreamer Designs is like top tier as far as gift giving, I feel. All right, so um, we're gonna unroll this. You do get a inventory sticker. Um, I'm always a big fan of anybody who gives you inventory stickers. Um, I, I have a printer, a color printer that I can print sticker on sticker paper now. So I don't need, like, I don't feel the need to have a sticker, but it is nice if I don't have to like scan this and print it off or like, you know, um, scan an inventory sheet or whatever. Um, it, they have a pretty big, um, instruction sheet which is nice if you have trouble seeing. Um, they used to have it in like 12 languages, which was nice, but I don't think anybody used it. It tells you how to diamond paint. And then on the other side, they talk about all their social media. Um, I will say their social media is on point too. They have um, a lot of YouTube presence um, with a couple YouTubers that make videos for them that are pretty on point. Um, Lovecraft Forever, I really enjoy. Um, she is so bubbly and nice, and I just really enjoy her. Um, but they, they have some good videos. So, you know, check out their social media, whatever. Okay, so um, they also have a self-flattening canvas, but it's not quite as, um, as like, quickly self-flattening is say like a diamond art club or something um so i like when i'm doing these videos i definitely just roll it roll it backwards for you because plus they they roll it a bit tighter over this foam roller so it's it's not as loosely rolled okay so this is just a little baby it's just a little baby painting so it's 30 by 30 centimeters um, they, they do theirs true to size. I, I don't have a tape measure up here, so I, I will try to remind myself to, to get one, um, handy so that I can actually measure these for you guys. But the design, they, they put it right there, design size. So they, you know, they give you the, the true design size. Now this has 46 colors. Um, no big surprise that even in such a small painting, there would be a lot of different a lot of colors because shocker it's a rainbow rose um i think this one's going to turn out nice it doesn't maybe look like much in the camera well no actually it looks better in the camera than it does to my eye <laughs> um we're gonna we'll, we'll test the glue here Yep, very sticky. Um, they have they have great great glue, and you can see that their symbols are very clear. Their first run, there was a little bit of an issue with the symbols being kind of like hard to read because the canvas they were using was a little bit. Um, like porous so the the symbols would like sink into it and kind of blur this canvas is much less porous it's it's a little bit silky feeling on this side and then just kind of you know not as silky on this side but their um their printing is definitely very clear and and easy to read these days um i haven't worked on one of the 2.0 canvases yet but Really the only problem I had with the first ones was the readability here and there. And that problem has been more than solved. I mean, these are, these are great. So let's get into the colors.
Okay, so there are two ABs. They do their ABs a little bit different. Um, they actually put like an AB on the front of the, the number. So it's not just like the DMC number for it or whatever you would call it, like, like DACs. Um, I've noticed pretty much everybody has their own way of doing ABs. So whatever. Anyway, um, so we have a white one and a green one, which are right here on the front of this first string here. Oh, and okay, so I, let me see here. I think, all right, I like this. Oh, never mind. I thought they were all, all in like this same same length of string, and I was really excited for a second. But they're they're not all in the same length of string. I just got um, this first one is in the same length of string. So there's our green AB. That's really nice. Again, um, if you aren't familiar, AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and that just is the the little iridescent coating that's on those. They, and Aurora Borealis, for anyone who's not familiar, is just the Northern Lights, that like shimmery light show. So they called, they have like a coating that can go on beads and drills and all kinds of different stuff. Um, so we're just going to go through the colors now. All right. And I like that these are nicely organized. Um, they... They also, um, unlike, I think, yeah, they seem to have put theirs in order by number rather than what Diamond Art Club does, which is purely by weight. But, um, you know, it kind of just depends on what, what, um, what your, your manufacturer does, so... I'm just going to go through these colors. Um, of course, since this is a rainbow, it has every color you can imagine. And just take a second to look at those, those three tens. You might know the three tens or other dark colors, but especially three tens. Um, those are the problem drills. You know, we're going to flip this over. I forgot to do that. But those are the, pro the problem drills. Those are the ones that, you know, tend to have the most problems. And just look at how nice those are. I mean, just, they're gorgeous. Okay, so just going through. This one's going to be fun because it's it's got just like a few of each color. So it's not, you know, super overwhelming. And you get to use all kinds of, of fun different colors. And I think I'm just pretty pretty looking forward to it so but just okay look at these drills guys like these are just flawless I cannot talk enough about how good the drills from Dreamer Designs are I've said it before but if I could just buy these drills every square painting that I ever, that had trouble with I would buy from Dreamer Designs um now I've heard there's there's some good some good places um like that heaven and earth designs um recommends for their kits so i'm gonna look into those places just because um i do kind of want to source for for good for good square drills um but you know, like, I I like when I don't have to worry when I'm buying a kit. And I never have to worry about the drills with this company. I mean, look at this. They're just, they're beautiful. And they come out so shiny. And they look so nice. And I just adore them. Um, the only thing I can say is, like, I wish they just had, like, well, number one, I wish they had customs. Number two, I wish they had, like, just more, 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 more art. Um, but, you know, it's not like the, the world right now is in the perfect place for rapid growth either. As much as we've all been trying to fill the hole in our lives with 
with buying stuff. Um, so anyway, that's all the colors. Again, that's whatever, 40, 46 colors in this little tiny painting, which, you know, makes sense to me because it's a rainbow, so there's going to be that many. Um, we've got our, our two ABs, which are gorgeous. I feel like, oh, right, folded in half. Okay, there we go. Okay, and that's what I, these all together. Anyway, um, you know what? I'm just going to set these aside. I'll take you out. So looking forward as usual to working on this one. Um, I might work on this one sooner rather than later because it is pretty small and, um, it'll be a nice break from, from big paintings. I thank you guys for watching. If you would like to see more of my unboxings, I've got so much more coming. Um, I have some on the way. I have some that I bought while I was on the break that I need to unbox for you guys. Um, you know, I'll probably try to do some lives or some whipping chats or something. I don't know yet, but I will have more videos. So go ahead and subscribe. Thumbs up this video if you liked it. And feel free to leave a comment. Tell me what you thought. Tell me um, if you are thinking about buying this one or if you have it already. And I will catch you guys later. I hope you all have had a great start to this holiday season. Bye-bye.